Hey everybody, welcome back to Allie's Voice and Alice in Love Beatty. And, um, okay. I'm excited to share with you the success of perseverance because, um, now that I'm browsing around the internet um, with the tag word C peptide, it seems to be coming up more often. And this, I'm, I'm thrilled because about a year ago, it was March 2007, I was hell-bent on trying to access C-peptide because I read a, um, a research report that basically said it was reversing the long-term complications associated with type 1 diabetes. And the bigger picture of importance here is um, now in light of the, the absence of C-peptide in the entire protocol for diabetes treatment, it makes me wonder exactly why doctors off the bat are not um, prescribing for every new patient that comes into their office that they suspect has diabetes to some extent, the stimulated C-peptide test. It's, my, my doctor even attempted to, you know, get the, my C-peptide checked. At the same time, he was checking my hemoglobin A1C, which typically I've done in the past as a fasting, you know, test. So if you're trying to stimulate your beta cells to produce insulin, um, it's going to be pretty much ineffective. <laughs> so, so technically, I mean, everybody's going to sort of end up looking like they're, you know, meandering type 1s you know, out there. But, I mean, for instance, this whole Halle Berry debacle, that seemed to have gone down. Somebody told her she was a type 1. They probably didn't even test her whatsoever. I mean, she wasn't a diabetic coma. She passed out on the set. So technically, her blood sugars are probably, you know, like slowly, gradually rising. And, and, you know, after a point, if you're not stimulating your beta cells to reduce your blood sugar, your body becomes adapted to this type of, you know, elevated glucose. Nevertheless, um, here's my point. If you're a diabetic and you've got an endo, next time he wants to prescribe, you know, he wants, you know, to have your, your bloods done, be like, um, can you write me up for my stimulated C-peptide? It's not going to say stimulated on the lab reports, which is, um, that's another confusing attribute of this. If you're really trying to get an idea as to whether or not your beta cells are working, you must stimulate them. And therefore, you really can't do it as a fasting you know, test. And in fact, it's a little, you know, dare I suggest it, but, you know, if you're doing going in the morning for it, you know, what you would do is in order to stimulate it, you know, have like a half cup of juice. Take your, take your morning shot with you, but take it after you've, you know, had your bloods drawn. So, you know, therefore to sort of draw back the blood sugar so it doesn't rise too quickly. Too, but, um, yeah, stimulated C-peptide test. It's, something everybody should know because it really gives you an idea as to whether or not your beta cells are really, you know, capable of the output because um, once you start on a treatment protocol, you're really, um, you're compromising your beta cells ability and you never will have a clear picture. So, you know, get it off the starting line <laughs> so you know where you're going with your diabetes treatment. And uh, please, for crying out loud, if your doctor doesn't understand you're trying to stimulate, um, just, you know, ask him, wouldn't that have been a good idea for Halle Berry? <laughs> yeah. Um, I would hate to think anybody lives 10 years of their life mistakenly as a diabetic. Yeah, that would blow. Anyway, thanks. Thanks for joining me. Um, if you have questions, comments, anything, you can join me on 2Diabetes. Um, then I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.